welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's Petra. If you haven't been here before, I am going to show you around uh, Victoria a little bit. Did not realize there was a loud uh, machine in the background, so I'm sorry. I'm really bad at timing this sometimes. But anyways, there may be some outfit changes because I don't know if I'm going to film this all in one day. Um, I did kind of want to show you guys around Victoria a little bit just because it's where I've been living the last couple years and I'm gonna be leaving here soon. Uh, I'm gonna be flying back to the United States, maybe temporarily, maybe permanently for a permanent while. I don't know. I don't know what's going on with my life. Always one thing to the next. So, I'm going to uh, check out the Museo de Amarilla. Amarilla? You guys. Even though I've taken Spanish, I'm still terrible. But I'm going to check out the Armory Museum and then maybe the Fine Arts Museum today. So if they let me film, I'll show you some of that. Um, but other than that, I'm just going to show you some of the places that I often go to here in Victoria. So anyways, I'm going to quit blabbing and let's go ahead and get into the video. Sorry, you guys, I could not film in there, but it was super cool. Lots of really interesting armor. I'm really proud of their win in the, with the Napoleon Wars that happened here. So they have some armor from that and a lot of swords. And they even have some like Asian and Arab type weapons and lots of really cool stuff in there. I'm really surprised at how much they had and they had a little you know, I could listen to a lot of the info with a uh, code. I could scan and listen to the history. So kind of cool to think, oh wow, they actually wore this stuff in, in a war. <laughs> anyway, so now I'm gonna try and go to the Fine Arts Museum and check it out. I don't know if I'll be able to film once again, but anyways, I will, I will see what I can do. All right, let's go. at uh, Basque artist Ignacio Olano, I believe is his name. And his stuff's pretty cool. This one behind me is one of his more famous paintings. And I'm gonna show you some of the others. to rush because I forgot everything closes at 2 and so everything will open back up at 4 but I don't think I'm gonna go back I think I had enough of the art um, it was cool I really liked the Ignacio guy a lot I can't remember his last name but anyways I really liked his paintings I think the most out of all the ones I saw I felt like they had a lot of life and the way he used color was super cool like color and light it's like the way artists use it, I think is really interesting, especially light. So anyways, I mean, I'm no artist, but those are my thoughts. I think that's about it for the museums that I wanted to go to here in Victoria. 
Okay, so now I'm in a Florida park and it's a really popular park here. I actually also filmed this, I think during the Christmas season, um, where they set up a Belen, Belen, I think is the name of the nativity scene that's like life size here, which is it's kind of cool. It's interesting. I really like it here. It's kind of unique the way it's designed. There's like nice little bridges and this interesting little like pond behind me and I don't know it's like a maze I remember getting lost in here when I first got here and I'm like how did I get lost in here but anyways I'll take you around just a little bit to see alrighty guys so I am back and I'm actually today going to tour the Santa Maria it's the cathedral here that is I think it dates back to like the 9th century and they've been doing construction and they're actually allowing tours and they have been allowing tours um, you know you have to wear like a hard hat or something but they're restoring it they're doing like major restoration on it I don't know all the history about it but I'm gonna find out more I'm gonna try and see if they let me film in here if not I'll just try and give you guys as much information as I can about this interesting cathedral so Santa Maria Cathedral, it's located at the top of La Almendra in Vitoria, on which the original Gusti settlement had started. It has had quite the makeover and redos throughout time. So first, and the most interesting to me, is the foundation, which is where we're headed now. And it's had to undergo major renovation because it really needed to ensure a solid structure and future survival of the site. I think they've even removed graves out of here before. Okay, so next we're gonna look at some diagrams. And there's four models here. First one is between 711 and 50, and it shows the first stable settlement. The second shows the first like walled enclosure built and the first like Romanesque style church. This one here is during the 13th century where they are beginning the construction of the Triforium and high timber vaults. And this last one is also in the 13th century, but at a different phase. It wasn't actually until the 14th through 16th centuries that the bell tower was built and they start to see the structural problems. It's kind of sad how far they made it and then they noticed the problems. So now we're headed to the actual cathedral inside and it dates back from the 13th century. It has a Latin cross floor plan with a central nave and aisles on either side covered by like ribbed vaults. And it also has a triforium. Also, the octagonal tower, including the bell tower, dates from the 16th and 17th century, where you can see a really nice panorama of the city. Made it to the tower. There's a fence, so it kind of sucks. In the 1700s, they made a new enclosure for the graves, and this is when the structural problems became more evident. And then finally, in the 1960s, a comprehensive restoration plan was drawn up, but it wasn't actually until like 1994 that the cathedral was uh, closed to the public. In 1999 is when the structural rehabilitation actually began, and in 2014, they allowed it to be open again for worship. Um, so today the cathedral is still undergoing construction, but no more hard hats. They used to have hard hats until recently, but their tours I was on, did, I didn't need one. Just a mask, but that was only for the pandemic. Anyway, this is my little blip of information, and I know there's a lot more that was unsaid, but if you're ever in Vittoria Gastes, this cathedral definitely has some enjoyable history, and I definitely think it's worth a visit. We are back, and today we are going to do a little bit of going into the center of Victoria. I think I've done some of this with the holidays, when so I'm not going to spend a lot of time, but I'll show you a couple things here that are popular places to go here in the center of Victoria. And 
this area is Calle Postas and they have a lot of like uh, markets as you can see here now they have like a it's a lot of books that they do and then um, it's just kind of a nice little walk there's little shops here and cafes and things like that that church right there is the Church of San Vicente Martir it has a really popular uh, pincho bar below it called Bartolonio and now I'm gonna head into the Plaza de España which I have shown you guys this a lot before uh, it sounds like there's something going on in here though today there's like um, some basque i don't know some singing happening so i'll show you a little bit of this all right you guys and here once again i am in the center where uh, well this is vecan blanca and they have their monument here that you can kind of see behind me they're very proud of this statue or monument here because I believe it was built because they were the only city or one of the only cities that weren't defeated during the Napoleon Wars. So yeah, just gonna show you a little bit around here. And then this church behind the Alla Battaglia de Vittoria, there is the Church of San Miguel. So that's what this church is that sits behind. And this is, is the very popular Vittoria Gaste sign. I think in like 2010 they were named like the green city of Europe or something. I don't know, they're very proud of that too. Um, here they have this uh, sign that I don't think is the most attractive, but it actually is much prettier now because they replaced it. It used to be like brown and gross and now so it's actually green again, which is nice. which is like a uh, little hike up to like a hill with a cross on it, basically here, that's really popular. And then also uh, Sal, Sal Brua, which is a park that, um, you know, is really popular. I'd go running there sometimes too. So I'm gonna show you guys those today. So it's pretty early in the morning. I'm meeting my friend uh, Jess this morning. It's actually our last day to see each other. And then we're gonna go on this little walk and that'll be it. It'd be a good, it's a good, it's a good last little uh, way to say goodbye to her. So, all right, let's go. shot of her earlier but yeah this is Jess my friend saying goodbye today <laughs> and okay. and then Pincho you guys have seen anyways we're we'll be up there soon buddy to do it with, Jess. Um, so this is it. I'll show you guys the view and and the cross. So woohoo! 
All right, up here for the second time um, because when Jess was so kind to film that little clip, she set the leash down for Pincho. And so I decided I'd come back up here because she's actually pregnant and she has to get back because she's learning Russian and she has this Russian lesson and that's the whole reason we came up here early today. So anyways, I'm up here, I'm back again and gonna get the leash and then head back down. I'm really super sweaty, so don't. We have the leash now. Don't judge. Yes, Jess has the leash. I went up back up there. I couldn't run the whole way up there. It was way too hard. But she was so nice and she waited. Has a friend, we're going up after this for us. Well, and Jess is so cool to wait for, you know, me to come back running, and so we can have our last time together. So, anyways, all right, gonna finish this little walk out. So, see you guys in a bit. Okay, so we made it back. Oh my gosh, Jess actually had to run up and grab something for me here. So, yes, we made it. She actually, you know, it was so nice that she waited. <laughs> I was so nice. I'm, I'm getting sad because I don't know when I'll be back. Hopefully I'll be back. Okay, so the next place that I am going to head to is, well, actually I have a massage that I'm gonna get today. It was a massage that I won actually before the pandemic at the yoga studio that I went to. They had like an opening and so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna cash in on that before I, before I go. And then park, the or Saburo Park is over near uh, that yoga studio. So that's where I'm going to go after that and i'll show you that park as well all right so let's go okay you guys so finally headed out for the massage the craziness with uh rushing back and getting just back in time all worked out as you saw and um, now i'm heading to go get that massage done over here at the yoga studio kurma yoga so if you're ever in Victoria Gastes, it's an amazing yoga studio. Um, there's a guy, Yoseba, who teaches the a lot of the yoga classes, and that's who I was going to uh, last year. I just, I kind of started my own yoga practice at home, so I didn't kind of stopped going, and then with the pandemic and everything, but definitely check it out if you ever need some yoga and are in Victoria. So anyways, heading there. And then off to Salbrua. All right. All right, so I just got done with the massage and now I am over here at Cafe Tassa, which is my favorite cafe here in all of Vittoria. So of course I have to take you on a little adventure in here. So let's go. All right, so now I'm over here at Salbrura and this is the park behind me, which this is kind of more like where people bring their like dogs, but I'm going to show you around a little bit here, but sadly my camera battery is going to die. So, and I did not bring another one like a dummy. So what I get is what I'm going to get out here. So let's go. To be perfectly honest, this is probably not my favorite park here in Vittoria. I don't know, everybody really loves it. I mean, there is a lot of like wildlife that comes out here, but um, it also kind of reminds me of like a swamp land, to be honest, a little bit. So, but it is very different at different times of the year, which is kind of cool. So, you'll see.
Okay, you guys, so this is me from the future, and I totally realized I did not explain anything very well at the end. I had had some friends show up at the train station, and it was really chaotic. My The rest of my day was super chaotic, so I didn't even get to say that this video was basically my last video in Vittoria. I don't know when I'll be back, so that's really what I wanted to say, but I was just like trying to catch the train and get out of there, so... Yeah, just wanted to let you know that. And this is going to be the start of a new video because I'm going to do a vlog here in Madrid. So that will be the next video. So you'll have to stick around for that. Um, but yeah, my train's coming in seriously like a few minutes. So I'm trying to rush this ending. But I hope you guys enjoyed this Victoria video. And see you guys in the next video. Bye! This grass it has grown now. Oh, you can be you're like, no! Alright. Sabura. 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 Sabura.